So working on a project today, a good friend of mine gave me when we drew tags together and it went from me about 30 years ago, went to my boy, from my son, who knows where it ended up next. And um, about a year ago, yeah, the gun came back into my hands. It doesn't quite it's special to me and so I wanna kind of put some time into it and see if I can get it back to functional. Um, so, what we have is a Herders XK3 that now shows, oh, maybe it's visible. I mean, there's signs of pitting and rust all along the barrel, as you can see there. So you can see rust on there, I'm presuming. Stock, I thought it was a Hogue, but it's a Butler Creek. Made for a Mauser 98 action. A little bit better look at the action. You can see that there's rust and, and a little bit of yuck in there. It just needs cleaned up some. Pretty dirty looking. That's that Timney trigger. That still looks quite good. And if there's anybody out there that has a better idea how I could have done this, I'm all ears. Just remember I'm trying to do it on the cheap. And I have no flippin' clue what I'm doing. So, <laughs> keep the comments respectable, please. And if I need to do this again someday, that would probably be helpful if you got something for me that could be a benefit. something just that little bit of scrubbing right there and I had a little bit of rust right here sitting along where the scope base mounts go and popped it right off everything kind of a quick wipe down of oil and we'll put her back together. Put our bottom plate in. 
We've got that big void right there. I got this filler piece that needs to go in there. Drop that in. Then let's take our action. Drop it in. And then that will go lower screw. Front screw. Try 35, see if we get anything. Hard didn't move it. Didn't move it. One more just for good measure. Okay. There's that. She's assembled. Cleaned up a little, wiped down. Well, I haven't been able to find this. I don't know if it's still out there. It's called Wipeout, and it's a uh, brushless cleaner. Removes all kinds of stuff, supposedly. Put it over the barrel. Well, take the cap off, doesn't hurt. Put it over the barrel. Okay, so while we're waiting, I got another problem. Can I get my video in there? Right there. Can we see it? You can see it. Well, maybe you can see the screw, how much it sticks out. That's nine half turns in so four and a half turns and it sticks out so I've got to figure out some way to shorten that screw by about two thirty seconds or something so I'm gonna try grinding it what's the worst that can happen if it doesn't work I gotta get a different screw anyway so let's see what we can do Make sure the threads still work. They do on the other one. Well, I can't really see them. Not quite snubbed all the way down yet, but... Seems to allow it to go through. Let's run a patch through and see what we got. There's what that first patch came out like. It's rust and copper fouling and pretty nasty. Well, 
Well, I'm going to call that the last patch, but I'm still getting some rust-like stuff coming out of there. There it is, cleaned up. Most of the rusty spots are gone. It's looking better. Got a nice coat of oil on it, so it should be protected now. High slip silicone grease. I think it's a silicone grease. It's a synthetic. I just want doesn't need to be a whole lot. Just to kind of help lube everything and make sure that nothing freezes and there's no scalding, scalding? Yeah, whatever the word is. Okay, there it is. My herder's 270. Put back together. Cleaned up a little. And that gun is responsible for that elk right there, as a matter of fact. So, nice to have it back in the arsenal and up and ready to rock. We'll see what it looks like next weekend when we take it out and give it a test drive. See you soon.